More and more bands are using multi-track recorded materials for their live shows. Even if a second computer is deployed as a spare, in the unlikely case the main computer or DAW crash, the audio coming from the MADI sound card would be interrupted for the period of time required to swap over the redundant one. Xbox BLDS from Direct Out is a MADI redundancy switch. BLDS stands for Buffer Loop Detection System, a control signal especially and artificially designed from Direct Out engineers to detect signal loss or corruption. Xbox BLDS not only can switch in case of a complete MADI signal loss, but it can also detect the interruption of the playback caused by a malfunction of the DAW. You only need to generate a special file, WAV file, using the BLDS generator software available for Mac and PC, and play through your DAW together with the rest of your tracks. Let's make a real test using two Macs, both equipped with the MADI sound card, running the free software Tracks Live from Waves. To synchronize the two MADI sound cards and the two Macs, we simply provided to both MADI input of the sound card signals coming from the Direct Out M1K2 MADI router with the internal clock set to 48K. We also established a MIDI connection via Ethernet to exchange MIDI machine common play and locate between the two Macs to keep the playhead of the two DAW aligned. Let's make the test. For our demo purposes, we just put on the first two tracks just the stereo left and right pre recorded materials of the song. And we left intentionally uh, uh, blank the track from 3 to 7. And we are just playing the BLDS on track number 8. Of course, we did exactly the same on another computer, having exactly the same session. Therefore, we could connect the output of the two MADI to the input of BLDS input number one coming from the Xbox UMA and BLDX input number two from, uh, coming from the RME MADI phase. So if uh, we select the priority with the BLDS1 lit, means that we want the system to investigate about the presence of the BLDS signal and in case the BLDS is detected both in the first and in the second input, the first port will be considered the one with the priority. So we will see that if the BLDS or the entire audio uh, flow is lost uh, within uh, the port number one, the system will switch over to the second one. We also have the possibility to reverse the situation just selecting the second port as a priority with the BLDS or once again we can select both port not having priority but they are considered at the same level so port number one and port number two will remain the working one even if the port number one or two are back after the fault. Let's now try to simulate a complete crash of one of the two systems so let's go and play it as you can see, the system is selecting the first input as the valid one. Both BLDS are present and valid. Now, let's try to crash on purpose one of the two systems. And I increase a little bit the volume of your listening to make you really understand that the switch over between the first and the second port is happening within one sample and it is absolutely seamless and inaudible the transition between the first and the second port. Let's crash the system on purpose, so tracks live, 4 squid. Are you sure? 4 squid. You could see a very interesting situation where only the BLDS signal has been lost, but the MADI connection is still valid and working between the, the MADI uh, sound card and the input. So that is the typical occasion, the typical case where the BLDS was really the only solution to have an immediate switchover between the first and the second MADI ports. And it's perfectly working.